Judging by the way this looks to be done, it should be relatively easy. Well, hello, friends. Someone just woke up from his nap. It was kind of a short one, but he did have a three-hour nap earlier this morning, so it makes sense. It's actually pretty cool. He's starting to create his own napping pattern throughout the day, so it's been really helpful taking the guesswork out of when I should be putting him down or not. Every single morning around 9.30, he's just, he's ready for his nap. And he'll nap anywhere from like an hour Today it was three hours, and then he's just sort of like up and down like that throughout the day, and then we try to keep him up after 6 p.m. just until bedtime so he'll sleep through the night. He has been sleeping through the night, seven to eight hours, every single night, I want to say since nine weeks old. It's been very, very easy. <laughs> I kind of have a bit of a morbid sense of humor, though, because I'm like, oh, you know, he's kind of just, like, giving us a break after we've had, like, the worst year of our lives. So he's just, you know, giving us a break and, and giving us an easier time during the night. But come baby number three, I know we're gonna get it. <laughs> so I have been wanting to make one of these little soft, crinkly books for the longest time, and I figure Christmas is the perfect time to do it. He's showing a lot of interest in his crinkly tag toys, so I thought this would be the perfect gift to make for him. Basically just gonna try to copy how these were made. Looks like it's just three pieces really. Both sides, I think I'm gonna do in this. This is a bit heavier feeling and I think it'd be a good cover for the book. First two pages, I wanna do these right here. Then we're gonna move into these fox prints. I made him two tag toys out of this, but I thought, why not? I have little scraps left, so. These two flannels I thought would look really good together on a couple of pages. And then moving into these two and then back for the back cover of this. Judging by the way this looks to be done, it should be relatively easy. I do think I'm gonna go a smidge bigger on the pages than this particular book. Are you excited? He's growing so, so fast. His eye color is already starting to change. Like there's a part around the pupil that's starting to turn a little bit yellow. So I have a feeling he's gonna have green eyes. Makes sense because me and Cameron both have green eyes and both sets of his grandparents both have green eyes. So what are the chances of it staying blue, you know? And he's gonna be four months old on, let's see. He's gonna be four months old on Friday. What? It's so weird because sometimes it feels like it's it's not been that long and then other times it feels like it's been way, way longer. Anyway, I think I'm gonna try to use this to cut squares. Probably not doing it right, but gonna work with what we've got. So this is four by four. I think I wanna go six by six. I'm going to cut the front and back cover as one piece. So it's gonna be six by 12. I'm just gonna fold this in half and kind of use it to guide me cutting the other squares. what it should look like once we get it put together. I'm just gonna be pretty darn cute if you ask me. I think those are all good patterns to go together.
Okay, so I think I'm gonna do the part with the, the outside of the book, the cover of the book, last. I've got my three inner pages with the right sides together. Then I'm just gonna cut up some cellophane to put on the inside of the pages. That's gonna give it that nice crinkly sound. How are you getting so big, buddy? How are you wearing three to six month clothing and it just fits you perfectly, huh? I swear he does not stay in a size for very long. So what I think I'm going to do now is just straight stitch around three of the sides and then leave this side on all of them just open so I can, one, turn them out and then they do have to be sewn together so that we can look through it. Now I'm just going to remove all of the pins and then I'm going to trim off the excess cellophane and then turn them out. Well, <laughs> bad news, I kind of did this backwards. The open part should have been on this side. So, I guess the book's going to open up with these. It's all it's all still cohesive. It's just um backwards. Uh, okay, I think I'm just going to top stitch these three pieces together. Uses me. Okay, I think I'm gonna sew around here, leave these parts open so I can turn it out. I hope I'm getting that right. You know, a lot of this is just <laughs> trial and error. I'm probably gonna screw it up again somehow, but fingers crossed it works out. stitch here and here and then the book should be fully functional. Okay, it is finished, and it's not perfect, but it is my first time ever making anything like this, and it's really not bad. You know, for being just a few scraps hanging around, not having much use, it it's pretty dang cute. In retrospect, I think it would have been a lot easier to just put, like, see the two pages, sew those together first to make like a rectangle and just do that with all the pages and then sew the larger rectangles together rather than making it individual squares and then putting them together. Yeah, I think it would have been easier and probably far cleaner looking if I did it like that. But you know what they say, hindsight is twenty twenty. so... Next time I make something like this, I will do it like that. Now, of course, you know I've got to go see what Cameron thinks. How's the little guy doing? Doing good. Wanna see what I made? Make my book. <laughs> oh, wow. If it come down, you're gonna put companies out of business. <laughs>
Do you think I should wrap it up or put it in his little Christmas sock? Put it in his sock. Okay. I think these guys are hungry. You guys hungry? All right, I'll feed you in a second. It's too big. That's what she said. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here we go. There. First toy in his Christmas sock. Well, that is going to be it for this vlog. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.